Hey, welcome back to Smart Home Tech with Lucky. In this episode, we're gonna go with the new Vocal Link app. It's been redesigned, re-interfaced, so it's got a whole new layout and setup process. So I'm gonna go through that in this video. But yeah, let's begin with the video. Thank you for watching LS Tech. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, enable notification with the little bell icon so you don't miss out any of my latest videos. So if you haven't worked with Link, they actually make some really great smart products. I've reviewed some of them in the past. Do check out the links in the description. But in this video, I'm going to go through the setup and how to set it up using the app as well as HomeKit. In this video, I'm going to be using the BP2, which is a smart plug with four smart socket and they all have a dedicated on off switch which is really amazing but yeah let's just begin with this so first of all you want to download the app if you haven't you can do that but i'll show you that now so first of all you want to open app store so look at your app store you want to go to search and then you just want to search for vocal vocal link and it should be the first one as you can see it's here because the mines already have another update so I'm just gonna update that and hit the install as you can see the icon is the same but as you can see the layout has been changed looks much nicer much sleeker and i love this new design layout so my instance i'm gonna open it up so first time when you do go on the app it will ask you to log in or register account so if you already have an account you can sign in if not just make a new account and log in so mine's already done that as you can see i have actually removed some of the devices doing some changes around the house but i've actually taken this one off so i've actually lost more here it looks pretty empty but for you it might just be fully empty you might still have your old devices laying around here but that's really nice so i do have my tree light here which is the tree light which i've had on to like a mood lighting throughout the day which is already scheduled so i've got times and everything set up using the google home app as you can see i can manage your stuff schedule so i've got my schedule here when to turn off when to go off which is nice you can see my energy levels and i can go through a lot of different things so that's nice to go through that of course i do have settings so i can change the stuff yeah everything is here location name which is really nice so that looks really simple but let me show you how to install a new device so let's just go back to the home screen and we want to click plus and here is showing the links now so we actually have a few different ones so we've got our well-being devices security devices lightning here so we've got smart plugs so we have our little smart bulbs here light strips and we have a plugs here so of course i'm going to be using the bp2 so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this so it's going to make sure i do have a, a indicating green light so I'll make sure of that so if you look on my device here we do have a flashing green light and that's saying it's correct so that is good but before we go to the next step i want to make sure you do use a 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth to do the setup process it will not work on the 5 gigahertz you need to make sure your router does have a 2.4 gigahertz most modern wi-fi they do have both of them built into one name but just make sure you do have it some older ones they have them separately so just make sure you have that because i've had some people complain they can't connect it because they're using the wrong wi-fi link and it will not work but after it's all set up it will work on the five gigahertz with no issue and that's not a problem there but yeah so make sure you have your qr code so the qr code is actually on back of the product itself so if i turn on here it's here as you can see but if not it works to get included in the box itself in your booklet so if i bring the booklets here we can go open and let's just find the so let's just find the booklet and it's in here and it's on the back of that so in case you lose your book you have your product itself but i always keep these little smart books here in case i need to do some setups or i need to go through and look how to reset or anything like that but it's really nice so i have that so i'm just gonna put that here i'm gonna hit confirm hit next and now it's asking me to scan the code so I've got the code here and just pump that in. This code will actually work with HomeKit. So right now we're actually doing a process where they're enabling us to set up using the app as well as HomeKit and it just goes through seamlessly. So let's add this to the home. Now it's connecting. 
the good thing I like that is doing this both at the same time is you don't have to go through two setups like some apps, some smart blocks, you have to set up through the app first and then you want to go into your home app and then do another setup which is complicated but with Apple HomeKit it's just one seamless which I really love like with Alexa or Google Home it's more complicated of course I will have videos on that very soon so make sure you are subscribed for my channel for that but yeah let's carry on so so it's done so it's asking me where I want to set it up so of course I want this in the office I'm gonna hit continue give it a name I'm just gonna call it smart plug which will make it much easier hit continue and it's giving me the names for the individual so if I want to turn it off individually I can do that as well if I want I can turn it off and off as a whole product but of course we do want individual names so I'm going to change one of them I'm going to call it video light just for this demonstration video video light I'm going to hit done and as you can see it's already done in the home as well as so I can view it in the home if not I can just hit done and it should work here so it's just linking let's just wait for that to go through and it's done so we have four here individual ones so you can see that is really nice so I can turn off and on so if I break the smart plug in here and we look at D here and the lights are off there should be indicating light here so if I turn it on the light comes on I'm not sure how well this is picking up on camera but I'm, co I'm course you but I'm sure you can hear the sound like coming on and off So you do know you can hear it and you can see it when it's off and on so that's really nice so it's on now which is nice but I can then click on it and I can go in here and do some schedules so if I want this one to schedule off and on I can do that I can set the time what I need to do which days do I want it to turn off or on so that's nice so that's a really nice feature you can actually set up a lot of different stuff so if you have smart lights you can have them to turn off and turn on or if you want to connect this to your computer and you want your computer to be turned off during the night because you're probably sleeping so you can do that save some energy that a lot of different things you can do you just have to go creative here i always use it for my lights to have them turn on like the non-smart product products because they don't have any smart features like the video lights they don't have any smart features so i can use this to turn it off and on but you just have to be creative let your imagination go free of course and we do a really nice video we have a lot of products set up and really nice videos coming up soon so make sure you are subscribed for that but now let's just go through the home app so as you saw the process was simple so we don't need to do any setup in the home so we can just go in type in home and click on home and it's already here as you can see it's on but we're going to scroll down or we can go to rooms and it's in office and it's in here as the one here and it's on you see the other ones are off i can turn them off turn them on which is really nice so that's so simple and of course you can go in here and create some animate automations if you want it to turn it off and on which you can do you can do that for the app you can do that for the Siri as well you can see where they install you got all your details here which is nice she just has four accessories so that's all the indicating lights there which is nice so but yeah let's try this with Siri so of course with Siri you can have them to turn on you can have them turn on individually or you can have them to turn on all together so I can just Chris Siri, so turn on video light. Turn on video light. And the video light is on. We do get indicating that's on here. And of course, you do have your light here. But I can turn them off as well. So turn off video light. Did you want to turn off video light? Yes, didn't hear me correctly. Video light is turn off. So as you saw, Siri works really well, so you can have it turn on and of course it's always good and I recommend that you name your products so don't leave them as Outlet B, D and C. Give them names so it's easy for you to know when you're through the app when you're using voice assistant to turn them off and on which is really nice. So with that I can just have a video light on and off. Of course I'm going to connect this to my router and my Google Home so and computer. But it's always good that you keep them named. Don't be like this have them out like that and it's, it gets messy over time when you get a lot of smart products it's gonna get really clunky that's why I'm reusing most of my stuff it looks weird here but 
Hope this video helped you when setting up the Vocalink app. As you saw, the app is redesigned. Simple process using HomeKit as well. One process, one step, it's installed on both apps and you can go through them, set timers, turn them on, use Siri, which is really nice. And Vocalink actually make it a whole bunch of products like they're really good for the price, but I like the smart plug. It's one of my favorite one they do It's just cause for the price you get four, which is now you can turn them on and off, which is amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna leave the video review for that in the description if you do wanna check it out. And I'm gonna some links for their sites as well. But as always, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.